towards the end of the season, uh, a couple of times D'Amico was saying things to, him, to us that he hadn't said for quite a while. I think it was after the Raider game. He said, that's not up to our standard. And first half of the Seattle game, that's not up to our standard. But tonight, I mean, it, it was pretty much your standard, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it, 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 it sure felt like us. Um, you know, that one drive where they went on a, I think it was a 12-play drive and, and scored on us. Um, you know, kind of broke down in coverage a couple of times. Uh, they had some third and shorts that they converted, but for the most part, it felt like us, man. And obviously, we know that we got to play big time football in the playoffs and have a chance to uh, uh, to win this next game. For the Ray Ray fumble, obviously tight game, playoff game, and you guys are in a tough position defensively. What are you telling the guys? How big was that to the whole? Yeah, honestly, every time we, we go out there, there's not much that got to be said, regardless of where they, they spot the ball. You know, we know we got to go out and we got to we gotta execute. We got to perform, right? Um, it's playoff football. Things happen. And we got to find a way uh, through it all and make them attempt a field goal, you know? Um, and I, I think we stood up big time in that moment. Fred, when, when Pollard went out for them, knowing your scouting report, did you guys adjust anything differently knowing that you know, Zeke's not going to pop off the big gators necessarily like how Pollard does? I wouldn't say we adjusted uh, uh, and specifically any type of way. I, I, you know, obviously he's a he's an incredible football player, and we had a lot of respect for him going into this game, knowing how dynamic he was and, ex and how how explosive of a player he was. Um, you know, you never wish to see a guy limp off the field like that. Um, but I think for their offense, it kind of changed things up not having him uh, back there. Uh, Eagles coming up. We obviously saw what they did yesterday. What's the challenge there? What's the mood about going in that game? The challenge is everything. Uh, I mean, just watching from afar, you know, they had a, a great game yesterday and, and really took care of business at home, and they got another home game. Obviously, two great football teams going against each other. We're going to have to watch the tape hard. I think from, from just watching them all season, I think they have an amazing uh, overall team, but they're off offensively, they got a great old line. Great playmakers, Jalen Hurts having an MVP type season, and I, I respect the way he approaches the game in his mindset. So, um, we got a big challenge on our hands for sure. With this rivalry, a lot, a lot of back and forth kind of, kind of stuff. This week. Any, anything special for you about you know handing that team another loss in the playoffs? Yeah, you know we we uh, we heard about the, the the rivalry, how huge that was all week, and um, how rich the rivalry is, right? And I think this game was just. It was its own game, though. Honestly, you know, I, obviously, all that stuff is is great and all, but I knew we it was two great football teams playing against each other and a um, uh, big time game at home that we had to win, and we found a way. Was there anything about that final Dallas formation that gave you guys pause? That was a weird look. Ah, <sighs> yeah, very strange. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they uh, if they had planned to be in that situation. Obviously, because I, you know, it didn't work very well, but. Um, I mean, we prepare for everything, and uh, when you got players like Jimmy Ward who just come and just saw guys out, it makes it easy.